Hi, I'm Len Tessarillo, I'm a plant pathologist, but we're here today to talk to Andy Ryland because we're looking at a cabbage crop in the Sydney Basin uh, post-flood. We're looking at some issues that have arisen and how it's impacted on cabbage crops which we're in now, Andy. So what were the main issues in terms of uh, weed infestations prior, prior and after the flood? Well, certainly after the flood, we've seen uh, an increase in brassica weeds, wild radish being the worst one. And it's provided a, an alternative host for the most difficult problem we have in brassicas, which is diamondback moth. And if you're not controlling weed areas in the headlands and what have you, they're just breeding up even if you're controlling the moth in your crop. So they can just, what, they fly in from, from those headlands and what then Absolutely. start to establish in yep. the crop? Yep. In between times, if you've managed to have a good successful spray in the crop, yep. uh, but you haven't controlled them in neighbouring uh, weeds, then at the first opportunity, they'll move back straight into the crop and you're, not, you're under pressure again. Yep. And it adds to your resistance problems as well. So. And how long between the time they lay eggs to the time you've got larvae? It varies with temperature, but it's roughly 10 days. But when you find eggs on the plants, you can usually judge by the color of the eggs, whether it's four to five days before they're going to hatch or three to four days if they're really close to hatching. And that helps you time your control measures much more accurately and much more effectively. So the sprays aren't as effective on eggs as they are on the... Most actual... of the sprays don't kill the eggs. They oh. only kill the, the larvae. They won't kill the adults either, so you still see the moth adults flying around, but it's the larvae you've got to check for. Yeah. yeah. And are there any sort of natural predators that might sort of take the eggs out or any of the other stages of the life cycle? There are. There, there are quite a few predators um, that will feed on eggs, things like ladybirds and damsel bugs, which you'll find in the crops if they haven't been sprayed with anything too harsh. Yeah. And then there are some parasitic wasps which will actually target diamondback moth. They are commercially available. You can buy them to top up your crop, but they are also naturally occurring in the okay. environment. Yeah. So again, making sure you're not putting broad spectrum insecticides out is going to be important. That's it. Of... It's part of that IPM program of trying to encourage anything that can help you manage the pest.